thing on me. Uh, got that lean on me. Uh, got that zen on me. Uh, Seven steam with me. Uh, got a bad bitch. Uh, trying to leave with me. Trying to feed. COVID can't kill me, boy. And I'm uh, sorry for not uploading. I've just been focusing a lot on my schoolwork. But, yo, guys, look, I'm back. I'm back to what if, what if Naruto had Tusk, boy. It's been a hot minute since I recorded a video, a banger for y'all. This your main, this one. And I'm back for y'all for another video on the channel. You already know we got to grind that. Grind the subscriber count. I've been FK for a while. I did look a little stream before. But you know, man, it's back. COVID came and killed your boy, bro. Like, I found out a bit. I was sad at first. Now I got over it, bro. COVID can't kill me, bro. Like, bro, I'm built different. Anyways, let's get into the what if. Last time we left off, we had Sakura. As she grabbed it on, she grabbed it onto some type of golden light type object. As her clothing changed as she got up, had somewhat like a pink design going down her. As she had almost like she had like a hat on her. You know, she took it off because she didn't feel comfortable wearing it, of course. But her clothes were much different. She felt more agile. She could think faster for some reason. Sakura was confused, but then saw an opening this slowly just breaking down in the cave. So she walked through it. And so, she figured out, that, well, found her way back to Naruto and Sasuke. As she eventually found them both, running over to Sasuke first, and then Naruto. Taking both of them, and dragging them over to some tree stump, at tree stump. As it has a little opening in them, in there, so they can rest. Sakura examined both Naruto and Sasuke, but still looked at her, at her hands and her clothing. Confused on what is actually happening. What happened to her? Why does... She, why, why is she like this now? It's her perspective or whatever. It's so different. Not her overall thinking, but she feels different within a way. She doesn't know what happened. What actually happened in that cave? She can't seem to get it out of her head. But she still tends to the wounds of Naruto and Sasuke. They're finally using some of the medical knowledge that she knows. She decided to look what she was actually wearing. She never really got to comprehend it that fast because she shouldn't have find Naruto in them. She decided to look what does she have or anything new. So she's just looking. She's wearing some type of pink some type of pink jacket or type coat going down as there seems to be these little like not little but golden leaves going down and she seems to be wearing some type of ragged not ragged clothing but some type of lined up gray type poncho in a way but it's a more it's more of a shirt you know and that goes up to her hands like a glove and well same for pants basically but um yeah with a with also sort of a belt just going around her waist pink leggings of course Still with the poncho thing showing the top before the leggings. And um a hat, black and gold. And yeah. Right as she was assessing herself, to be a loud bang of some sorts. Or a shock wave as she felt the ground shake for a second. As she would look outside, seeing two well three ninjas all from the sound village. That's what it seems. She doesn't know, but it has the symbol on her their headband. Of a musical key so that must mean they're from some type of sound village and so they would die well I to their down saying all right come on now just give us Sasuke and we'll be ready to go I'm afraid I can't do that <sighs> we'll have to use force then you know come on go get her I want to see two girls fight bro you're weird I forgot their names. It's, I'm not trying to remember their names or they already get easily defeated. No point. Even though I used to say all their names in my older vi in my other videos, but you know we were not doing that now. Anyways, she's the two girls from the sound, one from the sound, and of course Sakura would well face off with each other. 
Software is more agile and smart thinking, you know. So she was easily able to subdue her, even if she used a jitsu, canceling that in the process. As Dosuku, let's say, you know what, let's just end this quickly. There's no point in continuing with this fight. <laughs> Alright then. As he then started using his sound type, his sound ninja tool device. As it would cause shockwaves of, the, well, shockwaves causing the eardrum to bleed. Sakura couldn't handle this. Though, she felt something with inside of her just telling her to call out this name. Not sure what to do. She would say, Cream Starter! As she would start to hold this gold object type thing, like a spray can in her hand. As automatically she would spray both of her ears. What the heck? Did I just spray human, human skin on my ears? But hey, it, it's blocking out the sound. Alright then, this Dosuku kid's get, getting taken down today. As she would, rush, she would rush over at Dosuku, breaking his ninja device and punching him in the face, sending him flying into a tree. As, well, you can guess what happened to the other dude. They would all be annihilated. Well, you could say that she definitely killed Dosuku. The other two are definitely alive. But, um, yeah. And so from there... Sakura, I've got up saying, huh, Sakura actually did something useful, huh? All right, then. Let me just finish them. We can't just leave two of them alive. Sasuke, what? What? You would never act like this. We can't just kill them. Yeah, they tried to kidnap you, but let's just leave them there. They're already defeated. They won't come back. Hmm. If you leave them be, they'll just get stronger to come back after me. But I'll gain power, so you won't have to. It's better to kill them earlier. It's better to kill them now and let them live. As Sakura would then have to fight Sasuke. As Sasuke is infumed with the curse mark. Full of hatred of anger and power glowing over him. As Sakura versus Sasuke would commence. Sasuke would rush over at Sakura with his Sharingan gun activated with the curse mark over him. As he would start attacking Sakura. Sakura would be able to dodge some of the attacks. But due to the Sharingan and some of the... Sasuke's fireball jutsus, Sakura would be a bit overwhelmed, but she would try to use Cream Starter one last time. Well, not last time, but she tried to use it again, but this time on Sasuke. As she already took off the human flesh or whatever over her, the human skin, it's like basically skin but hide but flesh, alright? The skin, right? Using the skin, taking the skin off her ears. Retracting it back into her whatever thing. As did she would then spray it all over on Sasuke. Sasuke's eyes would then be covered up by skin as he couldn't see. As he said, what what the heck did you do to me, Sakura? Ugh, I can't take this off. It feels like my own skin. Ah! As Sasuke is... Well, basically, now Sasuke is trying to pull off whatever Sakura put on him. But seems futile. So this gave Sakura the opportunity. Sakura would land a leaf rising wind. She doesn't know that many like Taijutsu skills. She knows a couple. She know she would land a leaf rising wind on on uh, Sasuke using the ground and chakra walking to her advantage to send him in the air and to kick him back down. As she doesn't have the capabilities like Lee to send an opponent in the air and stay in there, so she had the. Kick him in the air, climb up a tree real quick, and then kick him back down, you know? Like, they're not, they're no on that lead timing, okay? And so from there, Sakura, she would easily subdue and knocked out Sasuke. From there, Sok Sasuke would be knocked out once again as Naruto would wake up. As from Naruto waking up, he would see as Sakura, she looks very much different. Um, confused by that. Like, yo, Sakura, what the... Did you really leave us in the forest to go get a change of clothing? Like, bro. Oh my gosh. It's not even like that. I fell into some cave after this. The ninja or whatever was beating us up. After that, basically I found some type of glowing light. I touched it and my whole outfit changed. And now I have this type of ability. Cream starter. I don't know why. I just felt like saying that. And then it appeared. Does she have an stand ability like me? Huh. I know I have my ability, Tusk. But does she have a stand now? 
she might as well be more useful now. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, then I'll talk to you later about something. But for now, let's get to the main, the middle of the arena or the force of death. Because, well, we got both of our scrolls from what you took up from the other team. So, like, uh, yeah, let's let's do that right now. As Sakura would pick up Sas Sasuke, and they would start tree jumping over to the exams, well, the dome area. As once they would reach, they would contact Sa they would contact Kakashi, as Kakashi would then take Sasuke and start sealing up the curse mark. From there, Sakura and Naruto would be resting. As Naruto said, huh, Sakura is useful now. This might actually be interesting. I don't know what her stand ability actually does. But I think we'll be able to see it in this fight coming up now. As the first fight will be called. Sakura vs. Ino. As well. Well I'm not trying to go. Let me explain this first. We run real quick. As all the teams would enter that have their scroll. Kabuto would make a. a not a fuss. But I know it's like he's leaving the exams. And it was pretty fun. And so, all the teams would line up as Haruzo would then say, due to the fact we have a bit too many competitors, and it's because it's the rules, you'll now be taking the preliminary exams. I mean, you'll now be taking a preliminary fight. This is where we eliminate some teams until they get to the final fight. So, now the first match will be called Inu. So, no, Sakura versus Inu. Sakura and Inu will walk up to the stage. Huh, Sakura, she changed out your, changed out their old raggedy outfit of yours for something a bit more new. It looks kind of weird, but it's all right. Huh? Raggedy outfit? We'll be talking now. All right, then. I'll give you the Peacemaker Wombo Combo 369,600. Bro, what? As you then say, as the whatever it would say go, as you know, and... Basically, Sakura will rush at each other. You know, try to land a mind transfer swapping technique well, on Sakura. But Sakura would easily defuse it after she got into her mind. At, yeah, after she got into her mind. Cause yeah, okay. And so from there, Sakura and Inu would get into a Taijutsu battle. But Sakura clearly had the advantage. From there, she would take out Cream Starter. As she would then spray Inu with this whatever... Whatever, whatever skin thing as Naruto would see it she has the ability to put skin on people so like she can blind people or like take their hearing or like yo that's pretty cool as she would box up Eno even some more to that tapping her face taking off the skin as Eno would say I can finally see what the heck happened as, as soon as she would say that she would get uppercut and get knocked out Naruto would see and be amazed, but as soon as he tried to talk to Sakura, his match would have been called. Alright, the next match is Naruto Uzumaki versus Ida. And so Ida and Naruto walk up to the front. As they both would be eyeing her down. Alright, Naruto. No, you took down, of course, one of the seven ninja great swordsmen. Doesn't mean that. You you won't be able to beat me, of course, because I'll become the Hokage. Oh, nah, you tripping. Yeah, we fighting. All right, then, Naruto. Bring in all you got. As he would, as whatever, no, the competitioner countdown man would then say go. As Naruto would use a new technique, as he would nail glide across the floor, using his nails as they would go around his arm at fast speeds, of, of course. Ida would be surprised. So he would instantly go into a fang over fang, going to attack Naruto. But Naruto would then launch himself in the air, shooting two nail bullets at Ida. And so from there, Naruto would land again. Ida would dodge these nail bullets, but one would pierce through his arm as it would literally go through him. Ida would be crying out loud as he would lift up his arm, people seeing a gaping hole within him. As Ida would cover it up, saying, Naruto, what type of technique is that? It's, well, special ability, really, it literally will kill you. But I'll land, if I land one more shot on you, then you're, you literally have to go, because you will die. <sighs> I'll become 
Hokage, no matter what. As Ida would raise up his chakra, as he would do another fang over fang, but he would cast a fireball jutsu. Fang over fang, thunder fire. As he would cast a fireball jutsu, doing a fang over fang, going within the fire, as he would have been almost like a, it's basically fang over fang, but fire. As fire would be wrapping around Ida, Ida would go at fast beats, launch himself over at Naruto. This is the end! As Naruto would nail glide, and then shoot Ida once again, taking some damage because he couldn't really dodge the fire, you know? Taking some bit of damage, but shooting Ida from the process. Ida would get launched, would get launched back as he would have a gaping hole through his torso. Nowhere vital, like his organs, of course. But definitely needs to get that checked out. Now, you say, when you say no, nowhere vital, what do you mean? Because in your stomach, you have your intestines and whatever. You saw on the side of the intestines where nothing's really there to kill you. Nothing really there won't affect your organs, but there to really injure him, you know? And so, Medical Ninja would then come out. To come and assist Ida, taking him, taking him to the medical bay, as they'll get him, well, basically treated really quickly, regenerate some of his skin or something like that. But Sakura would suddenly go with Ida to the medical bay, as while they're going, of course, Sakura like I have, I can possibly help you, Ida, huh? What do you mean by that, Sakura? As Ido basically get patched up and put to rest. From there, Sakura would come into the room with her cream starter out. As she would basically lift up Ida's shirt. Say, ah, what are, hey, what are you doing to my shirt? What are you doing to me? As she then spray down Ida. As both of the holes in his leg, both of the, both of the holes on his arm and his torso would again just be regenerated. Ida would look down and say, whoa, th the hole's gone. Though, I don't feel better yet, but I don't need a stitching in me anymore, as the stitching will just pop out. And so, Ida, though he's still injured inside, basically, eternally, he just needs to get healed by Medical Ninja. As later on, he'll get healed by Medical Ninja, they will be surprised. But, the, let's say, they will be like, eh, whatever, I don't know. I, I don't get paid enough for this, to care, of course. And so... Ido would be like, yeah, sure, even I'm not becoming Hokage. Anyways, the parts that we've missed. Sasuke, of course, was able to his fight with a different ninja, though, from the Sound 4. Of course. And, um, other fights would go as normal. Of course, the legendary battle of Rock Lee versus Gara That would go as usual and as planned. And so, from there... The people that have won today's contest, you will now be able to leave as you have one week to prepare. No, you know what? Two weeks to prepare for the final, well, the final, the final battles for all of you. And so, Naruto will leave. Two days later, he'll be walking within the village, you know, trying to, trying to think about any type of ability that he can make. He doesn't know that many ninjutsu. But he wants to have some really good abilities with his nails. He wants to make his nails more non-lethal attacks. But attacks us to really like their punches in a way. You know, like a an electric type jutsu that electrocutes someone's body. Like a fireball shooting at somebody but not killing them. You know? Or a rock throw type. Uh, like a rock throw, like an earth skill. That hurts the enemy but doesn't fatally kill them. Or send any holes into them. And so. No one told me to think about this all day. But soon he would spot somebody. But this person would then disappear. I said what What the heck. I swear on. The booty bandit. I saw somebody spying on the girls just now. I just man would then appear behind Naruto. Hey. I finally meet you. Well found you of course. My grandson. Naruto would look be like wait grandson and Drew would go back basically saying oh you know i'm your grandson your father but do you know her you know 
your father is actually the fourth Hokage, Mini, Minato, uh, not Mikaze, and your mother's an Uzumaki, but Uzumaki's just a red hair, blah, 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 blah. And Naruto would be amazed at how he knows so much about his family, but didn't know that his father, the fourth Hokage, was his father. He would be amazed. But then Jirai would realize that Harujin told this kid nothing about his family or his history. And face pump, of course, doing that, he's definitely have to go to him later. And so, he would go to Naruto and say, all right, Naruto, I came here to mostly train you, you know? I heard that you made it into the next part of the exams. That means you're growing strong. I like that. Came to visit you, do some other stuff. But now, I'm definitely going to train you. You deserve this. You deserve this. We got like a week and a half for you to train, so let's do this. Naruto would be pumped. As... First, Jirai would settle down with Naruto and try to unlock some of the Naruto's chakra and to help Naruto with his chakra control. From there, Naruto would ask to learn some ninjutsu, you know. He wants to learn some new ninjutsu. Though, it's not, he only has right now the wind element available to him. So, Jirai would definitely start teaching some Naruto some wind skills. And he had access to lightning for some reason. And so Naruto, after figuring out, oh, he had lightning from chakra paper, second chakra paper actually, not the same, not the same one, because the same one blew away. He's the second one on him to find out. Oh, he has lightning chakra. He has lightning chakra element. That's nice. And so from there, Naruto, he would have been training with the lightning chakra. From there, Naruto, from training for quite a while, only have about, boom, <coughs> sorry. Four days left. He would concentrate and concentrate. As then, well, during his training, Jiraiya just came back. As he would jump onto Jiraiya and say, Jiraiya, I finally made a new jitsu of mine. My own personal jitsu with that ability I have. Oh, so you have an ability, huh? Interesting. Show it to me. What type of is uh, your ability with lightning chakra you're talking about? Oh, I have this type of, like, ability. It's like this... I call it a stand because it literally stands by me. And I call it Tusk. Tusk, huh? Interesting, interesting. How did you gain it, though? Well, I touched this steel ball. And, well, steel ball? Wait a minute. He touched a steel ball. That only belongs to the Zeppelis, but the most of them are mostly wiped out. And I'm one of the remaining ones. How does he, how does he have access to a steel ball? Naruto, how did you have access to one of the steel balls? Okay, hold up. You see, I'm Jiraiya Zeppeli. Of course, my family is pretty famous and infamous for their techniques. But how are you able to touch a steel ball? How do you have access to one? A Zeppeli always carries one on them. Or destroys it if, well, of course, it's going to get into somebody else's hands that don't even know how to use it or it's just going to make them disabled. Well, I fell into a cave one day while running away from the villagers, of course, when they were bullying me. And then, well, I just grabbed onto this ball and some type of corpse part, and then it fused within me. C corpse part? Naruto. I have a lot to tell you. But, we'll find out next time. Also, for the person that recommended that comment on the last what if. Oh yeah, just wait till the next part. You're going to see that jitsu. It was a pretty good idea. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. Remind me of Yu Yu Hakusho. Anyways, that's it for now. See y'all on the next part. Peace.